guys today i'll be giving you an overview of the amazing nova launcher prime the latest edition of 2017 version for android let's get started first up download the installer files from the link in the description and install them after that press home button and select nova launcher as your default launcher the setup screen will appear where you have to select some default settings first choose the type of overall theme for the launcher i will select the light theme then choose app draw style you can have immersive or card style background as in google launchers i will go with the immersive background then you can choose the way in which you would like to open the app drawer i will select the nougat style swipe up action that's all and you can see the launcher is set up with few basic settings but that's not it the app drawer has a faded transition while opening as you can see and you get a search bar at the top if you expected there to be some change in the notification panel then there is not but you do get the force touch option on google apps like play store which is really awesome but still it is not supported for all the apps rather only a few moving on in the wallpapers section there are no extra wallpaper packs or anything only the standard system wallpapers are present but in widgets we have a few amazing options first is the nova action widget which helps you set a specific action for it to perform when it is pressed i will select expand quick settings and as you can see when i click on the action icon or the widget the quick settings panel opens play around with other option to cater your needs next we have the apps and folder widget and this lets you add apps and folders to your home screen but in a very unique way First select the apps you want to group into a folder and then select create folder. The app folder gets added to the home screen. Add the widget and then just select the apps you want to press and click add. That's it. Now you have all your apps on the home screen added rather than going through the hassle of clicking and dragging each app to the home screen next is the activities widget which is similar to action widget but with more functionality now i will select the google playlist activity and when i press on the widget the playlist opens still there are a lot of options so do check them out There is also the quick search bar widget and that's all the widgets that you get. Rest are all the system widgets as you can see. Moving on to the launcher settings, first we have the desktop settings in which you can change the grid size to whatever you like. You can also change the icon size and also the icon label size and even more options like the shadow and etc are present. Every option that you tweak a preview of that will be shown in the preview window right above the options you can tweak the search bar to look really cool and stand out you can even change it to look like the latest android nougat google pill and even make some tweaks to it in scroll effect you get to change the way transition occurs when you change from one screen to other you also get the page indicator option to change the indicator style to bar or dots and even change its color and a few more options in the additional menu now you can see the icons and the grid size have reduced compared to the previous and the scroll effect has also changed when the indicator color has become blue now next is the app drop settings and you have similar options as i showed you previously Here you can select if you want the app drawer to be in card type or immersive type and also tweak the transparency of the drawer. After tweaking a bit, you can see I have this type of cool app drawer. 
Next is the dock setting which lets you play with the dock in the launcher. You can change the shape, transparency and even add custom image to the dock. You can increase the number of dock pages, change the number of icons to be present and also change the size of the icons. Next in the folder settings you can change the folder style, its background and much more. In the look and feel settings you get to change the icon pack, orientation and also the app open animation. You can change the launcher setting theme to night mode to make it black and easy on the eye. The most useful feature of Nova Launcher is the gesture settings. Here you get to set actions to some predefined gestures like swipe down or a double tap. You can add a specific action for each gesture and customize it as you like. So do try it out. By installing the Tesla app, you get to tweak the notification icon badge by changing its size, style, position, shape, color and so on. You also get the option to back up your NOAA setting and restore it later. Also you get this unique option to tweak app icons as you wish. Here I have the flood app and when I long press it, I get options like edit, remove, app info and uninstall. Click on edit and you can see that I can change the app name to whatever I like and even change the app icon. This is very helpful when you want to hide apps or fool your friends. Now when I click on the app, flood app will open even though it appears like MX player. You also get a very unique option in which you can add an action to perform when you swipe up on the app icon. Here I will select the app MX player itself to open. So when I click on the icon it opens the flood app and when I swipe up on the icon you can see that it opens MX player. And it's really amazing that Nova Launcher has implemented this kind of a unique option. So guys there are a lot of tweaks and I think that I have covered major of the setting and there are even more that you can discover yourself. The Nova Launcher comes with a ton of tweaks and customization to give your Android device a new look and a new feel. So go on, play with the settings and tell me your opinion about the launcher in the comment section. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. And do check out some of my other videos on tweaks for android and i will see you in the next one